I never thought that it'd be so simple, but I find a way. Wait, wrong theme song. Damn. I know, <laughs> I know you see somehow the world will change for me and be so wonderful. Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's Mike, and we're back with another video. And today I'm joined with well, a guy that haven't been on the channel. He haven't been on the channel in a minute. So I welcome him. He's me and welcome back. What's up, Yay? What's going on, bro? Not much. What about y'all? How y'all doing? Good to be back. Yeah, man. We haven't talked in a minute, bro. But this was your idea to come up with this video, man. To come up with this video we about to make. Tell them your idea. Okay, so the idea was um, new iCarly coming out. For all the fans that might know about iCarly, iCarly was... Uh, you know, a Nickelodeon-based show that ran from, I want to say, 2009 on to 2013, I want to say. It went for a good while, but, you know, um, it I don't think it got canceled, but, you know, the finale happened and shit like that. And they, they are rebooting it, but they aren't rebooting it with um, Sam. And that McCurdy and um Gibby, and a lot of fans are like kind of you know iffy about it because they love Sam, and you know, Gibby was also a fan favorite. But to me, I came up with this video because I said it only because Sam is not there doesn't mean like it won't be a good show. And as y'all know, Sam is not coming back, Jeanette McCurdy, she's not coming back because. You know, she stuns with acting. She said that it broke her down mentally, that she couldn't do it no more. And if you just look on the, the show writers, Dan Warp, or I don't know what's his real name, but him, you can look up the history behind all that and see what happened behind closed doors. So that's when they're not going back with him. But yeah, I said that it might be a good idea to debate about this because... It might be good, but some people think it might not be, which is what Mike is thinking. He think it's not going to last one season. And if it do last another season, it might last two. But for me, on the other hand, I think it might it might go a good while. That's how I think. All right. So in the comic session, I want y'all to say who wins the debate. My debate, which I'm saying that it's not going to be a good show, and his argument saying that, yeah, it's going to be a good show, and it's going to last for a long time. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to go first of all, do you want to plug anything before we start? Mm, no, not really. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, uh, how about I'll let you go first since you're the guest. Um, what's your first argument? My first <laughs> argument is that I feel like it's going to be a good show. I mean... I'm, I'm not saying it might go down in history as the greatest show, you know, that has ever been rebooted. But I said it might be a great show because it's going to connect more with um, the old audience, which is now we're all grown up. We're all in our 20s now. So as you've seen in previews, you've seen Spencer say, damn it. And that was kind of a shock to me, too, because I'm like, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. What route they going? But I can see that they're going the mature route because, you know, it's on Paramount Plus and, you know, a lot of things are getting rebooted and things like that. So it's not Nickelodeon. It's not a children's base, you know, network, you know, Paramount, Plus, all that. So I can see why they're going the mature route now. You know, they was talking about beers and things like that, you know, hookups. So, you know, for a. Uh, a real fan, it might be a little bit weird hearing Spencer talk about beers and things like that. But at the same time, it's like we're older now. So we should be able to handle this type of stuff. You feel me? That's why I think it's going to be a good show. And okay. it's not, you know, the original creator is not back. And as you know, the original creator, he did some stuff to those kids that's uh... unspeakable. <laughs> Uh, oh boy yeah you already know <laughs> that's why he's not yeah. coming yeah okay so 
my first argument is that it's just the reason why I think that it would not last no more than two seasons is because this is a nostalgia-based show. Of course, it's going to pop a rate, and you're going to get the old, older fans to come back. But once they see, like, what made iCarly so special is that it had a charm. It had a charm about it. Not saying that it might, and I don't think it's going to have that same charm coming back to the show. It's been so long, and really, I think we're tired of seeing reboots. And also, so what? So what if it's a little more? It's no longer PG, not a no more child friendly. That still might not make it a good show because we got to also focus on writing to tackle more adult adult things. And the problem with shows that focus purely on nostalgia, that's in the trailer, the first trailer that come out, all about nostalgia. Oh, remember this, remember that, remember this. The problem with nostalgia, nostalgia is like a drug. And nostalgia wears off. So let me put it in this scenario, in this um, example. You know, when you, um, everybody did it before, they um, t- broke up with a girl and then sometime later you want to get back with your ex and it's good the sex is good it's fun you know yay it's fun (laughs) but then again you realize i don't like her like she's not it for me and i think that's how i carly this reboot show is gonna is gonna be and i'm not even i'm not gonna talk about the Gibby and um, Sam not joining because that's really irrele- irrelevant. That's not my biggest problem with the show. Was would it could have made it a better show? Maybe, but at the same time, we don't really know that. But yeah, you got another argument? Um, yeah, I think I got something to rebuttal that. Even though I agree with all the facts you're saying, you know, it's nostalgic and things like that. But you have to uh, realize that a lot of shows like this. Like a Drake and Josh, like a iCarly, you can go along those lines. They really don't get rebooted like that. So it's okay. like, you know, to see a show that we all connected with, like you said, get rebooted, it's like, it's like a wow, a refresher. Like, wow, I didn't think that this show would ever get rebooted or come back for like another season because of what happened with the creator and things like that, you know? Jeanette McCurdy, she's leaving. You know, she had a lot of problems with, you know, acting mentally. So even though even though all that might not be like the same as, you know, PG and things like that, just to see it rebooted and to see that Paramount Plus gave it another chance is just refreshing. Okay. So I feel like it might not. It might not do like a good. It might not do the seasons like the regular iCarly did. But for them to even try it is like okay, now nah, let's see what y'all got. From the previews, they all look like it's going to be the same comedy. You know, Spence. You know, Freddie's mom still going to be on them. You know, Spencer. You know, he's a grown up. I mean, even though he's talking about beers now nah, and stuff, but he's still a grown up. You know, I, you know, Carly exploring dating. This seemed like the same things, but who knows how mature it might be. You know? I mean, we ain't going to see titties. <laughs> I mean, before, that's great. I, I would, I don't care or not. I wouldn't dare want to see that. Like, that's come on. That's come on. That's like our childhood. I, I don't want to see that. Like, that's too much, you know, trying to ruin our childhood. But, you know, they might explore the, sexuality of course because of you know what's going on in the world you know yeah and what you said is the same comedy now i think that that yes it's going to make the um younger fans um well not the younger fans like us the older fans that grew up with the show happy and stuff like that but at the same time what's the whole point of a reboot bro i mean the whole point of a reboot for some shows, for some companies, it's just to, you know, give the give the younger audience, you know, a chance to explore what we have went through. 
So as you can see it with the Powerpuff Girls, you know, even though I don't like that reboot, that's just giving the uh, smaller fans a taste of what we loved as a kid, even though I don't think it's a great reboot for real. But it reboot is nostalgic for new people and even the old, old, older audience is meant to bring back nostalgia, even though some don't work. You feel me? That's just what a, a reboot is meant to be. Yep, you're right. But also, the whole point of a reboot, rebooting anything, is essentially making a show from the past and make it updated for the for the next generation. However, they're using same jokes from our generation. This generation is different from our generation. Will those jokes hit? Like, will those jokes hit, or will it miss? Because we are a lot, we are different from this generation. You know that, I know that. So I don't think like, and also, I the biggest issue that I have with the show, seeing looking at the trailer, it looks like this show is going to be a like a heavily feminist show, and you know that's going to turn a lot of people off. Yeah, I could see why you might say that. You know, a lot of feminists, but at the same time. It's a male feminist out here, so it might not, you know, turn a lot of audience audience members off. Who knows? You know, I get that you're talking about it might be feminism, but it just depends on how much feminism they go into. If they go into like a lot of stuff like guys are stupid, women are better. That's yeah, that, I get, that, vibe. That, I get like, that vibe from this show. If it go into that, then it might be like, all right, now this is just supposed to be about a web show. It's not supposed to be about no feminine stuff, you know. Even though you can touch up on it, you could touch up on it, but I just don't want it to be all that. I want it to be a little bit of feminism, because of course Carly was a feminist. If y'all remember, yeah. kind of was a feminist. If it yeah, touched- but that's the thing though, I think this like instead of focusing on entertainment, this show is going to focus on political topics more. And it's not it's not going to be entertainment. It's just the whole fo- focus is to is to promote an agenda. That's what I think that this show is going to go to. I bet it. I bet. I, I I'm willing to bet. That's the vibe I got. Let's hope it don't. Let's hope it just stays on the topic of, you know, a web show. You know, they haven't did it in a while. You know, I feel like it's not really a reboot. It's like it might be a like a new season, not really a reboot, because if they touch up on like if it start off from like when I Carly left, you know, when Carly left with her dad, if it start off like that and she's coming back, then I don't think it's like a reboot. A reboot is like completely changing up the origins, you know. If if it don't change up the origin and they go back to like, oh, she's coming back, oh, she graduated from college now, oh, they going back to the old spot, then that's what it looked like it did in the previews. Yeah. It looked like the same studio, the same apartment that she left from. I don't think it's going to be like, oh, I, I never met Sam. I don't think it's going to be that. Okay. So... I, and here's the thing. Um, I when I found out that the iCarly show was gonna come back, I was excited. And when I saw the um trailer, I was like, uh man. And I remember like these rumors been I remember these rumors from two years ago, 2019. That's when the rumor started. It was the iCarly rumors, then we got the Drake and Josh rumors and stuff like that, which I, I rather have Drake and Josh and iCarly because Drake and Josh was a better show. And, yeah, and I'm not, even though this is like, I, I can care less, but let's talk about it. Jeanette McCurdy and um, I don't know his name. I know his last name is Monk. Like, no. get, uh, no. yeah, Noah Monk. So, in the later seasons of iCarly, you notice that they focus on those characters more like Sam 
for the first cut, I just got done rewatching the whole series. So Sam got a huge bit like character development, which um her and Freddie start dating, which was like crazy. They start like when you watch the first two seasons, you never thought they were they were ever gonna date. Then they broke up, which I thought was kind of bad writing. Yeah, they just I think that was stupid. Like you could tell that they really liked each other, even though they yeah. wanted to focus more on uh Freddie and Carly, but at the same time, I kind of like the Sam and Freddie concept of dating because it's like, okay, they was at each other's throat the beginning of the um seasons. Um, they really didn't like each other. But as time went on, she started developing more feelings and started realizing, okay, she had feelings for him. And it started after the, um that kiss. Remember she yeah. teased about never never having a kiss and she told Freddie, Oh, I never had a kiss either. This is that. I just go around thinking I do, and people never question me. So you could you could see how the character development went through that, but I don't like how they wrote it off as, oh, we need to break up. For what though? <laughs> And even Gibby's character, he had, like, from the first time you seen, he was just, like, this weird kid. Then, for some reason, Gibby was actually pulling the, <laughs> he was pulling the females, like, really. He was pulling the women. And he became, <laughs> he became a prick, bro. Like, I, like, the later seasons of Gibby, Gibby was awesome, man. Like. He used to say he only date girls that have low self esteem, which like how like he his character was so complex, but it was funny. He his character like really his character is really a bad guy when you really think about it. Yeah, but, it is. <laughs> but like he was just so entertaining, and he had a character development. Like he was like just yo nerd well not really a nerd but just like a kid they used to get picked on because he got picked on by sam he was weird to a kid to a character that was like confident he became confident in the later seasons so now they introducing like a black character now this female can no, no it's not tebow <laughs> this black character um i don't even know i don't even know who what's her name i don't even know what her, what's her name do you no, nah, she. I think she might have got into acting, and hey, they just pick somebody. Hey, you want to be in a new iCarly? But somebody might know her. You know, a lot of fans they might know these new actors for some reason. I don't know how they be knowing, but if you probably was a ask the comic section, they probably be like, "Yeah, she's from such and such." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I never seen her, so I don't know who she is. But we'll see. Like, it's June 3rd in this show, June 17th. Miranda Cosgrove, Jerry Trainer, Nathan Chris, and some other actors. I'm trying to see what their name is right now. Um, Lacey Mosley, Jada Triplett. Oh, yeah. Um, what's the name is also returning? Um, Neville. And also Freddie's mom. So, yeah, Re Alexander and Mary. I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll be here to watch it. And if y'all want me to review the show, I can. If y'all want Ye back on the channel to review it, and we're going to see who's going to win this the break, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to win. Because, I mean, that's what they call it, even though it's kind of not a reboot show, but that's. That's really what they're calling it. I Carly Reboot 2021. That's what they're calling it. They're just calling it a reboot because some of the characters not coming back. So, but if you really think about it, if it's yeah, kinda, it's not really a reboot. It's not really a reboot for real. But yeah, uh, I I'm going in this show with um. I ain't gonna say low expectations or high expectations. It's somewhere in between. What about you? I'm going in with sort of like on the same boat, like medium to see what it's about. Like I'm expecting it to be a great show. Don't get me wrong. You know, I'm expecting because that's the show I grew up on. That's just like if they rebooted Zoe 101, I'll go in with um, kind of like high hopes, too, because it's just like, all right, now nah, this is a Zoe 101 reboot. If it was to come out with and I'll be expecting them to hit, you know, 
what we wanted them to hit before they just weirdly ended the series. Like, what happened to Zoe and Chase? Did they ever, how did they work out the relationship? Or what was their relationship like? Instead of just ending it on some weird conference. Like, that was the weird finale I have ever seen in my life. Okay. Hey guys, it's up to y'all. Do y'all think this show is going to succeed, or y'all, or do y'all think this show is going to be like Teen Titans Go? Horrible. But Teen Titans Go is still going on, so I guess it's not horrible. It's because it's hitting younger audience, so it's not going to be horrible. You know, the younger audience like it. Okay, okay. bad example. Um, do you think... Or I can't think of a horrible... Do you think it's going to be bad? So... Go down in the comic section. Say, give give me your thoughts, cause I'm going to be in the comic section. I love to hear what y'all hear what you guys say. Anything else? Final thoughts? Um, my final thoughts is that I hope they touch on like, you know, even though they might not be in the show, what Sam and Gibby is up to, and you know, just like little, not little cameos, but like little. You know, Easter eggs on what they're up to. Hope that they talk about them and not just completely ignore them. Like, well, they're not going to be in the show, so let's not touch up on that. Well, they ignored them in the trailer. (laughs) I said, of course they're going to ignore them in the trailer. That's just a given. I mean, you can't say. They were showing, like, flashbacks of old iCarly clips and they didn't even show them out once. Yeah, they didn't. That's weird. I guess they trying to really keep it secret. I don't know. For shows like this, some some making me feel like they gonna bring them out in like one episode. Like, when we might not expect it. Oh, Gibby and Sam might roll through and we might be like, as audience, like, oh, damn, I thought she quit acting. What's going on? Like... <laughs> Yeah, and people talk about Jeanette McCurry. I don't know what happened to um Gibby. Why 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 he's not coming back? I think it's like the same reasons, you know. Well, he was touched too. Um uh, I never heard of him getting touched. The only one I heard again touched was like really Miranda, you know, from cause she been there since really um Drake and Josh. Sure. So yeah. it goes back to that. You feel me? It didn't just happen with Carly. It goes back to all that. You know, okay. just since um Zoe 101, nobody would, would never remember that, but she was in a cameo of Zoe 101 too. I didn't know that. I never watched Zoe 101. Yeah, Zoe 101, all of that connected. That's why I really loved it. That's why I love all the Dan Warp because it really connects from Victorious to Drake and Josh. To Ike Carly, you know, even Henry Danger, it connects with all of that because it's in the same universe, kind of. So, okay. well, that'll do it for this video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you when we see you. Peace, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye. How much? I gotta cut this off.